if you don't get up. Yeah. Okay, I got it. I'm coming down. Then hurry up and come on. Was <sighs> a good night's sleep. That it wasn't a dream? Sis, breakfast is ready. Oh. Sorry, Iori. I overslept again. Don't worry about it. I know you must be tired. Take your time. You can drink this before you go. Oh, I forgot the sugar. Thank you. I shouldn't need any. Oh, was it too hot? Oh, no, it's fine. Good. What's this, Yusufumi? Huh? Talking to a friend? No, it's nothing. And don't look over my shoulder. Are you heading out, Himiko? Shouldn't that be obvious? That's pretty cold, little sis. You'll never get a boyfriend like that. <laughs> Scary. Morning, Taichi. You're looking tired. You're always awake in the morning. That's because I don't stay up late watching pro wrestling like some people. Well, now, did you guys come to school together today? No, not at all. We just ran into each other. Oh, Yui! Aoki! Good morning! Uh, morning. Morning. I think it's just way too hot for the end of September. This is just how I like it. That's probably because you can't even feel the seasons change, right? Huh? Yeah, if you say so. <laughs> At Yamabashi Academy, the private school we attend, every single student is actually required to join a club. However, every organization is bound to have a few rogue elements. For example, take me, a die-hard pro wrestling fan, who put the Pro Wrestling Society as my club of choice, and that club doesn't even exist. Next, take a look at Yui Kiriyama, who goes googly-eyed over anything cute and apply to join the fancy club but that club had already closed down. Next up is Yoshifumi Aoki, who tried to join the Players Club because he believed the rumors that there was such a thing. Then there's Yori Nagase, who figured that choosing one club out of so many would be too hard. So she thought the new and exciting option would be to leave the decision to chance. To do that, she let her homeroom teacher pick a club for her. That way it would be a complete surprise. And finally, we have Himiko Inaba, who joined the computer club 
but she almost immediately got in a spat with the president. So she chose to quit and take a different path. Huh? You're the only one here, Inaba? That should be obvious. Long story short, five first years with nowhere to go joined together to form the Student Cultural Society, or STUCS for short. Tai Chi, do you happen to have your topic for the next edition of the STUCS paper ready? You bet. The title is The History of Brainbuster Drop Methods in Pro Wrestling. Most people believe the brainbuster involves dropping the opponent on his back, but originally it was about dropping the opponent on his head. Zip it. Uh, you're the one who asked. I only wanted to know if you had a topic for the paper. I don't recall asking for any elaboration upon said topic. I really don't want to hear about it either. You never meant words, do you? Sup? Sorry about being late. Oh, it's just Tai Chi and Anabon. Yeah, Kiriyama and Aoki haven't shown up yet. Lame. I sprinted all the way up the stairs for nothing. Hmm. Yuri. Hmm. Hmm. I don't see a problem. You realize I'm in the room. 120 yen for every single piece. You're charging money? That's actually a pretty reasonable price after all. <laughs> so, what's your next topic gonna be, Nagase? <sighs> I've been thinking about what's missing from the STUCS paper, and I concluded that we need to add a sexy and dangerous element to the paper for our readers. Nobody is reading our paper for the thrills, so I think you're kind of off base there. It can't hurt to spice things up once in a while. So, Inaban, go for the sexy angle this time. Don't ask an innocent high school girl to write something erotic. I'll go ahead and write the article. You just have to model for a couple of sexy shots. Come on, Edabon, it'll be fun. No, over my dead body. Besides, Iori, you're the prettier one after all. Wouldn't this be right up your alley? Nah, uh I'm more like an idol who's not supposed to show any skin. When we need something more sensual, we'll turn to you. Come on, Edabon, what do you say? What do you mean, sensual? I don't think boys in high school are looking for that kind of thing. Wait, I think they might prefer a little maturity after all. Then let's ask one of those boys in high school. <laughs> Me? Really? Yeah, that's right. Which one of us would you rather see naked? Time for you to fess up. You, you want me to pick? Well, uh, since I'm representing every boy in high school, the answer would have to be both of you girls. 3.55 p.m. Tai Chi Yagashi respectfully demands that two female club members strip for him. Huh? Did you take that down, Inabon? Of course I did. This is gonna go in the editorial notes. Uh, I, I know I already said it, so I honestly can't take it back. But can you at least leave my name out of it? Come on, don't do this. So, uh, what's going on, you two? Well, we figured it would be a good idea to talk to someone else about this. Or, uh, something. But now that we're here, it's hard to... It's going to take a lot of courage for the two of us to say this, so uh, I guess... Spit it out, you guys! <laughs> yes, yes ma'am! Ma <sighs> you see, last night, we sort of... <clears throat> Our souls traded places! Huh? huh? I'm saying that Yui and I switched places last night, L like you see in a manga. Yeah! <laughs> Ugh, overhead chop. The punchline wasn't worth the setup. That wasn't a joke. I'm being completely serious here. Well, I'm more shocked that Inaba knows that move rather than hitting people for making bad jokes. Did you escape to the world of dreams after being shot down by Yui? That would make sense since you keep asking Yui out and she just ignores you. That's not what this is about. I'm telling you, the same thing happened to Yui. Right? Mm-hmm. Yesterday, I woke up in the middle of the night and I found myself in a completely unfamiliar room. When I looked in the mirror, I saw Yui's face and panicked. And then, next thing I knew, I was myself again. That's what happened to me. I thought it was just a bad dream last night. So I hid under the covers. When I opened my eyes again, everything was back to normal. There's absolutely no way that could have been real. Huh? Yeah, it definitely wasn't real. Aoki, <laughs> don't you dare make me part of your creepy fantasies. You're turning on me now? That had to be some kind of weird nightmare. So wait, 
We had the same nightmare in which we happened to switch bodies at the exact same time, and everything that was moved around in your room when I panicked was also moved around in the real world? Just a coincidence? That's what happened. Did that make string sense of to you? More or less, you know. In other words, it was a miracle. Mm. Besides, why would it be you and me? Well, you could chalk it up to fate or karma from a past life, I guess. So since we're already bound by fate, we should start going out. Uh, How did he arrive at that I conclusion? Can't stand you. Eori, that creep is making stuff up and I'm embarrassed! Right, right, they're here. Uh, you don't have to be so mean. Man, this makes no sense. The two of you need to cool off a bit. Okay, but I... It doesn't make any sense to us either, you know. Ah! <laughs> I left my notebook in the classroom! Don't cut me off in the middle of a thought! It's not really a big deal. Uh, so, can I run up and grab it real quick? You're the club president here. You don't need to ask me for permission. We can continue this later. I'll be right back. <laughs> Iori is the only person who can give her fits. Iori was trying to be considerate, I guess. Or she's just clueless. Problem is, you never know when the girl is doing it on purpose or not. Well? Why don't we have tea now? I'll make some for Nagase. Yeah, that's a good... Nagase, just what are you doing? Uh. Nagase? Nagase? Nagase, what are you doing? What's going on in here? Uh, 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 uh no. Want me to help you out? Huh? What? It's more effective when someone else fondles them for you. In so many ways. Uh. I'll be fine. No need for you to be shy. I'm very good with my hands. Wait, let's calm down a little, Fujishima. We can talk through this, can't we? Yes, let's talk. Uh, with our bodies. Our bodies? Taichi! Is that me? Yagashi? Fujishima, I need Taichi. Scratch that. I need me. That's not either. Sorry. But I need Iori Nagase for something. This is an emergency. So we're leaving. We're oh. busy right now. I can't deny that it was about to get busy in here, but please let me go, Fujishima! Taichi, I mean Nagase, says let her go! The two of you sound kind of strange. Anyway, Yagashi, you need to give me a pretty good reason before I let you take Nagase. Just let go! <laughs> Fine, then. <laughs> hey, Nagase! You're Nagase, right? You're in my body right now, so don't do anything weird or perverted. Let's just run away. What the hell? Oh, that was totally spooky. I was looking for my notebook when all of a sudden I was back in the club room. Everyone was calling me Tai Chi and stuff. I just freaked out and ran away. So then Aoki and Kiriyama were telling the truth. Okay, what is it this time, you guys? Looks like Taichi and I traded places. So isn't that right? <laughs> isn't it rare to see a genuine laugh from Taichi? Usually there's an edge of some sort when he laughs. That's true. 
when it comes down to it, he's not such a bad looking guy. He'd be popular with the girls if he laughed more often. At least that's what I think. Are you saying my normal laugh is really that bad? Who gives a damn about your laugh? Ugh. You just hurt your hand, didn't you? Why, you shut up! <gasps> Anna Bond's really enjoying herself. Oh, wait, I got it. Okay, what probably happened was that Tai Chi mumbled off one of his signature one-liners. So, she was going to respond with violence as per the norm, but he looks like Iori now, which is why she stopped herself. Makes sense, you know? Something's definitely not right with the world when Aoki gets to sound condescending. But I've never seen Inaba look as happy as she does now. Don't you dare think that I'll forget this, Tai Chi. Inaban, you were about to call Iori Nagase Tai Chi. But it's an easy mistake to make now. That's because you guys are putting on such a weird act. Do you really think Tai Chi's capable of imitating someone like me so well? Inaba, I know it's hard to believe, but you have to trust me. I'm Tai Chi Yagashi. Yui, Aoki, what do you think? I'm pretty sure that Tai Chi and Iori have switched places here. Don't you agree, Yui? <sighs> I honestly hate to admit it. Oh? So does that mean you're also admitting that we traded places? I guess so. I mean, I have to after seeing Iori and Taichi like this. But still, shouldn't you be a little more skeptical? Well, once you've experienced the switch, it's like, so that's all there is to it? Ugh, this is giving me a headache. I'll ask you one more time. You guys aren't fooling around or anything like that. Iori and Taichi have really switched bodies. Mm -hmm. Which means you should know information only Taichi would know. Isn't that correct? Yeah, you can ask me anything you want. I expect an answer in a split second. Got it. What's the title of the last adult film that you borrowed from Aoki? Big Jugged High School Go oh. <gasps> Wait, how could you ask that question? You don't even know the answer to that question! Well, that really doesn't matter. Besides, Aoki can verify your answer. Well, Tai Chi, what's the answer? You can tell us. Uh... Big jugs, huh? Uh, hey, Inaba? Could you let me whisper the answer in Aoki's ear, if you don't mind? Hmm. Well, Aoki? That was the correct answer, Captain Inaba! And also, I got to hear Yuri talk dirty in the process, which was kind of hot. Wait, did I just get totally hosed? Now that we've established that both of the male club members like big jugs... <laughs> I'm gonna find out for myself if this is really Iori. Uh, is Inaba using this verification process to get revenge for making fun of her? Because if that's what she's doing, this is a pretty nasty way to do it. Wow, I need to make sure that I never get on Inaba's bad side. Mm. Wait! I Inaba? I is that true? It's true. <laughs> but I guess that's what it means to be a grown-up woman. Anyway, what exactly did Inaba tell her? So you've switched bodies after all. Well then, I guess it's true. <gasps> But if I compare the likelihood of Tai Chi reacting in such an animated fashion to the likelihood of two people swapping bodies, the latter is easier to swallow. So I guess I have to believe you guys. And just how the hell am I supposed to interpret that statement? So, what exactly are the two of you going to do next? Hmm, what to do now? Aoki, Kiriyama, how long were you in each other's bodies? 30 or 40 minutes, I think. Do you think time is a factor? Or maybe... <sighs> What's wrong? Are you guys okay? We're, We're both, both back, back to, to normal! normal. <clears throat> Are you too serious? I have a feeling that it was all a dream. Well, let's just say that it's been a strange day. How about that? I don't get it. Was this switcheroo thing just a one-day phenomenon? Or something that only happens to the four of you? Anyway, we probably don't want to mention something like this to anybody else. There's totally no point in making our families worry or anything. That's true. 
Besides, I doubt anyone would actually believe our story if we told them. Was this really a thing for just today? Oh, welcome home, son. Oh, hey. Hey, Himiko. You home already? Isn't that obvious? Yeah. What's wrong? You look out of sorts. <sighs> Nothing's wrong. This is how I always look. Sis, are you doing okay? You didn't look like you felt good this morning. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> I just didn't get enough sleep. Nothing you need to worry about. yourself too hard. Bye-bye. <laughs> Big brother! Oh. oh, are you on your way home? Yeah, I had a meeting that ran late. <laughs> I'm exhausted now. Sounds like you had a rough day. Want some ice cream? Big brother, you should quit spoiling me, you know. I'm in fifth grade, practically grown. You don't want any? I do. <laughs> Did three people switch bodies this time? What does a little-known plant have to do with anything? We can't wait until something goes wrong. I'm sorry, but that's not who I am. Mad, they can't see, 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 can't see